Rockstar has officially ruined the Kai Perico heist as of today. Technically, they have been slowly doing this over the past few years, but this recent nerf really is the final nail in the coffin if it stands unchanged. Now, before we get into the nerf they did today, I want to first recap the nerf history of the Kai Perico heist a bit as a way to show how we got here to this point. So, in the Criminal Enterprises update in the summer of last year, Rockstar dropped a pretty big nerf to the heist, especially for solo players. If you completed a Kaya Perico finale as a solo player, you now had to wait three real-life hours before you were able to start it up again, as opposed to before, where there was, I believe, like a five or ten minute cooldown that you had to wait before you could pay the setup costs and start doing the preps again. And if you completed the finale with a group, there would only be a one hour cooldown before you can start it again. So you can see what they were trying to accomplish, what they were trying to get at here. They want to encourage you to do the heist with other players, which is even more evident by the other change they made in the Criminal Enterprises DLC. On top of the hard cooldown preventing you from starting the heist, there was also a soft cooldown on contents within the heist. If you did the heist more than one time within 72 hours of real lifetime, which is three days, then you would have altered statistics. For primary targets, you would have a 60% chance to get the tequila, the worst primary target, 15% chance to get the necklace, 15% chance for bonds, and a 10% chance for the pink diamond, the best primary target. However, the worse your primary target would be, then you would get a bigger increase in the value of your secondary target. So if you got tequila, your secondary targets would be worth 20% more, and so on and so forth, meaning that it would be worthwhile to grab more secondary targets because they'd be worth more, but in order to grab more secondary targets, you need more players, obviously. And so you can see what this line graph showing each player count after the 72 hour buff and before the 72 hour buff for solo players, the change doesn't really make a gigantic difference, but as the player counts increase, you can see an increasingly bigger difference between the two lines of the same colors within the 72 hour and outside of the 72 hour playthrough due to the secondary target values increasing. Having more players did make a very nice impact. However, in December of that year, when the Drug Wars update came out, Rockstar either intentionally or unintentionally nerfed the heist again in that dead bodies could now be spotted. And you might be thinking, well, what's the problem with that? That's not an issue. The problem with that is the main reason you do the heist with other players is so you can get the gold that's in the compound. However, in order to open the doors to get the loot in the compound, you have to kill guards until one of them drops a key card. But it's completely RNG related. You could kill one to drop it, or you could have to kill the entire compound and the last guy could drop the keycard. Well, this change makes it extremely difficult because now if you need to kill a ton of guards to get that last keycard, you can't because the bodies will ultimately be spotted by other guards. Or the Juggernaut, even. So they tried to incentivize group play in the nerf before that, then completely negated that with this change in the very next update because it makes it harder for group play. So they inadvertently made it more lucrative for solo play again, even with the changes made in the Criminal Enterprises DLC. And that brings us to today's nerf. For primary targets, Tequila, the Ruby Necklace, and Bearer Bonds all got a 30% nerf in value across the board. The only ones that are staying the same are the Pink Diamond and the Madraza Files, which you only get one time for the first time you do the heist. The safe cash from the office now has a minimum of 20,000 before it was at least 50,000 you get from the safe. The setup fee has gone up from 25,000 to 100,000, and every secondary target has had their value decreased by 10% except for gold. So if you plug those new numbers into the chart, the payout values would look something like this, assuming full bags of coke just to have a constant variable for comparison. You can see a very big decline in the overall payouts of the heist. And the upward turn towards the pink diamond is also a lot sharper because the pink diamond didn't get that 30% nerf, but all the others did. And if we take a look at the second chart I've put together here, this contains data before and after the nerf. The dashed lines represent before the nerf and the solid lines are after the nerf. And this is assuming a fresh heist after 72 hours, so there's no added bonuses to the secondary targets here. And it's a huge difference. Pre-nerf payouts for solo are basically approaching what the post-nerf payouts are for having two players on the heist. Again, this is assuming having full coke for everyone, just to have a constant variable, but that solo payout nerf is a killer. I mean, just across the board, it's killer, actually. And to make matters worse, this doesn't even take into account the 300% increase to the startup cost of the heist, nor the decreased chance for good office safe payout. And the payouts were not the only thing changed. Secondary loot chances were also modified. You have a lower chance of getting coke. It was 40%. Now it's down to 30% in all locations. So you have even less of a chance of even reaching the payouts that I show off in the graphs that I showed because coke is the best soloable loot you can get. 
but they did increase the chance of cocaine in places that require two players to 60% while lowering the chance to get cash in those same locations from 80% to 40%. Again, a change centered at encouraging players to do the heist with other players and not do it solo, but those same drawbacks still exist for not doing the heist with others, making it more difficult overall if you try to do it with other players. So then the question becomes, how do they remedy this to make the heist not as difficult to handle in the compound with multiple players? I think at the very least, they need to make it so the second key card drops guaranteed after the third guard you kill. So instead of having it like it is now, where it could be on the first guy you kill, or the eighth guy you kill, it could drop on the first guard you kill, but it's guaranteed to spawn by the third one you kill. Or maybe they just scrap the guard kill requirement altogether and just make dedicated spawn locations for the second key card. The first one spawns guaranteed in the office, and the second one could have a few different spawn points around the compound that you'd have to look for on the finale. Those are just a couple of my suggestions. I do want to make one thing clear before people call me a hypocrite in the comments, because yes, I was in favor of the original nerf to the Kaiprico heist. I do think it needed a nerf, but not two more nerfs after that. It did not need them. The cooldown nerf with the original changes were fair. Players were just spamming Kaiaprikos and making tons and tons of money from it, and that's not healthy for a multiplayer game just having one activity that's solo that people are doing to make money. But there comes a point where it's not just nerfed, it's entirely neutered, and I think it's gotten to that point. It's become way too overly complicated now with all the changes, and they should honestly just rework the heist in general at this point if they're really that annoyed with players still using it to make money. The entire draw to the Kaiaprico heist was that it was designed to be a soloable heist, and now they're kind of trying to shoehorn it into not having you do it solo, which is not working at all. Perhaps I'll make another video on how they can rework the heist in the future to make it better, because I do have a few ideas. Let me know what you guys think about the Kai Preco heist nerf. Do you agree with me that they've gone a bit too far? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, feel free to leave a like as well as subscribe to my channel for more GTA Online content. I want to give a huge shout out to all my channel members for your support. If you'd like to become a member for some exclusive perks, you can either use the join button or the link that's down in the description. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.